little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with part three of our lace pineapple scarf. And so in the last video, I had you going through the repeat of rows 13 through 19. And for this last video, we're going to do the top edge. Now, so as to avoid confusion, I said to leave off at row 19. Now we're going to be doing rows 21 and 22, just as we have been doing for the repeat. But then we're going to start changing around the center and so forth. And you'll see what I mean. I just wanted you to end there on the repeat so as to avoid any confusion. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's get started with row 20. So to begin, we start with our chaining of four. And then we turn the work and into the first chain two space, we're going to crochet two double crochets together. So start one, start the next one and then pull through three loops. And then we're going to go immediately into the chain two space of the cluster with another cluster. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's two doubles, two chains, and two doubles. Like so. All right. And then we need to continue the web work as we did in the previous repeat. So we're chaining three and into the chain one space, do a single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain three, single crochet into the chain one space, and a couple more. One more. All right. And now we have reached the center point. And so for this row, we're going to do chain three and then three pairs of doubles separated by chain twos. So we're chaining three. And then into the chain two space, we're doing two doubles, chain two, two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. like so. Okay, so now we're going to go across the other half. So that's going to be chaining of three. And we're going to do our web work again. So into the chain one space down in here, do a single crochet chain three, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain three, and so on until you reach the end of the web. Okay, just two more. All right, 
And now we chain three again, and we're going to do a cluster into this cluster space. Three chains. Cluster into this cluster. So two doubles, two chains, two doubles. And then we're going to finish in this chain two space of the previous cluster with two double crochets crocheted together. So going in, starting a double, and then we start another double, and then we go through all three. Ta -da! All right, so that is row 20. Onwards to row 21. So for 21, we're going to start with our chaining up a 4. Turn the work. Into the chain 2 space, we're going to do another cluster. So two doubles. chain two, and two doubles. Okay. And then chain three, because we have to go into the web work again. So into the chain three loop, do a single crochet chain three, single crochet into the chain three space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, and one more. Okay, so we have reached the center, and so what we need to do is we need to branch out by doing a cluster in this space and one in this space, okay? So we first need to do a chaining of three. And then into this space, we're going to do a cluster. So that's two doubles, two chains, and two doubles. Okay. And they're going to, well, these two clusters, the one here and then where the one that we're about to make, it's going to be separated by three chains. So chaining of three. And then into the next space, we're going to do another cluster of two doubles, two chains, two doubles. <clears throat> Like so. Okay. And then we are going to work our way along the other side. Okay, so that's going to be a chaining of three. And then we have to go into our web work. So it's a single into the chain three space. Chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, 
chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, and oh, here we go, single crochet into that last chain three space. All right, then we're going to chain three and into this chain two space we're going to finish this row with a cluster of two doubles, two chains, two doubles. Okay. And that's the end of row 21. All right. Okay, row 22. This is where things start to really start to change. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some extra yarn here. And it starts off the same initially enough, but in the middle, that's where it's really going to start to change. So we're going to start with our chaining of four. Trying to work. And doing a cluster into the first chain two space. Just our usual two double, two chains, two double. Okay. And then we're going to chain three. Sorry, my yarn keeps getting tangled on me. Okay, now we're going to go into the web work. So it's a single crochet into each chain three space, separated by three chains. You'll have to excuse my squeaky hook. The humidity is something awful, but if I turn on the air conditioning, you won't be able to hear me very well. So, sort of a trade-off. Okay, so single crochet into the chain three space, chain three, and single crochet into the chain three space, and that's the last of those chain three spaces. Okay, so now we have reached the center. <coughs> Excuse me. So into this cluster, we're going to have to do a cluster, and in here, we're going to have to do some branching out and another cluster. So we just did our web work, and so we're starting with our chaining of three, of course, and then into this chain two space, we're going to start with a cluster. So it's two doubles, two chains, and two doubles. Okay. And now into the center space, after chaining of three, into the center space, we're going to do a double three chains and a double. Alrighty. Oops. Hello. Alright. So it should look something like this at the moment. And then we're going to chain three and do a cluster into this space over here. Okay.
Okay, so this is what the top of your piece should look like. Okay, and see the center is somewhat like the spaces that we had at the base of our pineapples. And this is going to do some branching, all right? So now we're going to continue along the opposite side with a little bit more webbing. So, chaining of three, and do a single crochet into that first chain three space. And just continue along doing chain three, single crochet into the chain three space, chain three, and so forth. Should be sort of old hat for most of you by now. I hope. I hope I've made myself understandable and so forth. Try to be thorough. All right, so we're going to finish up this row pretty soon. So it's a chaining of three. And then into the chain two space of the last cluster, we're going to do, you guessed it, another cluster. and two doubles. Okay, and that's the end of row 22. Onwards to 23. Okay, so we're going to start with our chaining up of four. Turn the work and do a cluster into the first chain two space. chain three and do a bit more webbing. Single crochet into the chain three space. Chain three. Single crochet into the chain three space. Chain three. And single crochet into the chain three space. All right, so now we're going to Approach the center here, doing three chains and a cluster into the chain two space of the previous cluster. to have this center space, we need to have this expand out a bit. So, very much like the beginning of our previous uh, pineapples, I'm going to chain three out from this cluster and into this first double crochet. We're going to double crochet into the top of the double. And then within the space in the center, we're going to do five double crochets. Okay, so that's a good five. All right, and then into 
the top of this double, we're going to do another double. Come on. There we go. Okay. And chain three. And into the chain two space of this cluster, we're going to do another cluster. And then continue on this side with a little bit more web work. So we're chaining three. Single crochet into the chain three arch. Chain three. Single crochet. Chain three. And single crochet. Okay, and then we're going to end by chaining three and do a cluster into the last chain two space of the previous cluster. So that's it for row 23. See, as you can see, how we had this one branching out. Well, now this one's going to be branching out in a fashion of sorts. All right, so we shall continue. Okay, for row 24, going to start with our chaining of four. And turn our work. Okay, and doing a cluster into the first chain two space. Chain three, just a little bit of webbing on this row. So it's a chain three, single crochet into the chain three space, chain three, single crochet into the chain three space, and that's it for the webbing there. Chain three again, cluster into the previous cluster, chain two space. Chain three again. All right, now we're going to do double crochets into each double separated by a chain one space. So it's a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one and so forth until we have done our seven total double crochets separated by chain one spaces. Okay, so we've got our fan growing here, and then we chain three again, 
and then do a cluster into the chain two space of the previous cluster. chain three. Just a little bit of web work on this side. Single crochet into the chain three space, chain three. Single crochet into the chain three space. That's it for the webbing on this row. Then we chain three and do a cluster into that last chain two space. And there we are, the end of row 24. <laughs> row 25. So I'm going to start with chaining a four. Turn the work. All right, so we have a cluster into the first cluster. You know, chain two space. You know, it sounds awfully repetitious, but creates a really nice border edge, I think. And then we're just going to do a tiny bit of webbing into the center. So we're chaining three and do a single crochet into that one lonely little chain three space. Chain three again. And then do a cluster into the next cluster chain two space. getting there. Okay, so now <clears throat> going to chain three. Now into each of these double crochets, we're going to be doing two double crochets into each one separated by a chain one space. So going into the top of each. With two doubles in each one. And then chain one. And then two doubles. And be sure to go into the double crochet itself and not into the chain one space. Chain one, two doubles, chain one, two doubles, chain one, go. Chain one, two doubles. And one more. Into that last double crochet. 
two double crochets. Like so. Chain three. Cluster into the chain two space of the previous cluster. chain three again and into that center chain three space to a single crochet chain three and finish off row 25 with a cluster into the chain two space Okay. <sighs> Ooh, all right, and that is the end of row 25. Okay. Okay, row 26. I'm going to start with our chaining of four. And turn the work. In the first chain two space, do another cluster. All right, now we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to chain three again. So instead of immediately joining up these two clusters, cluster to cluster, what we're going to do is we're going to chain three and then into this single crochet down here, we're going to do a slip stitch. Like so then chain three again, and then into this cluster, chain two space, we're going to do another cluster. Oh, come on. <laughs> So it should look like this. All right. Just got to build up the sides a bit. You know, that's all. All right. So then chain three again. Okay. Now into each of these double crochets, we're going to do a double crochet with a chain two space in between. So, let's double crochet into each. Like so. And then two chains. And then a double crochet into each. See how it's spacing out just a little bit? Two chains, two doubles, two chains, two doubles. A couple more to go. All right, 
Almost there. Okay, so your top piece should look something like this. Big, nice fan going on here. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to finish up this other side nice and easy. So chaining of three, and then into the chain two space, we're going to do another cluster. Okay, and then we need to go into the base here again with a slip stitch, so chain three, and then into that single crochet, we're going to do a slip stitch, like so, chain three, and then into the last cluster, chain two space, we're going to do another cluster. Okay, just about done with row 26. Ta-da! Really coming along. <laughs> okay. Row 27. It's just this one and one more row to go and then we'll be home free. So, chain of four. Turn the work. Into the first chain two space, we're going to do another cluster. Chain two. And two more doubles. Okay, so now on this row, this is where we go and we're going to bridge the gap. So, with no chains in between, we're going to go directly from this cluster to this cluster on this side. So, into the next cluster, chain two space, we're going to do another cluster to bridge the gap. Like so. You see? All right. Now, chain three again. And this time, we're going to do a double crochet into each double crochet, just like we did. like so. This time we're going to chain three in between. And then two more doubles. Oops. And then chain three. Two more doubles. Chain three. Two doubles. And chain three. And two doubles. <laughs> One 
more. All right, so the top should look something like this. All right, and then we're going to continue just a little bit on the other side, and then row 27 will be done. So I'm going to chain three and doing a cluster into the next cluster of chain two space. And then we have to bridge the gap once again. So going directly from one cluster to the next, no chains in between, going right into the next cluster with another cluster. Chain two and two doubles. Ta -da. All right, one more row to go, I promise. <laughs> Last row, row 28, figuratively speaking. <laughs> All right, so starting with a chaining of four. Turning the work one last time. Okay, into the first chain two space, we're going to crochet two double crochets together. Like so. And then with no chains in between, we're going to go directly into the next cluster with another cluster. Chain three. All right, now into each of the two double crochets, we're going to continue on doing two double crochets, one in each, this time separating them with four chains. So that's one in each. four chains, and then one in each, four chains, and one in each, two, three, four, one in each, mm -hmm. got a bit of a snag. Almost to the end of the arch. Okay. And so now it should look something like this. It just keeps blossoming out. All right, and then chain three, do a 
another cluster into that chain 2 space of the previous cluster. Chain 2. All right. And then <clears throat> two more steps into this chain 2 space. We're going to do two double crochets, crochet together. Like so. And then chain five. And last but not least, do a slip stitch into this top chain right here, see, right there, do a slip stitch, and then cut your yarn, pull out your loop, sew in your ends, and you are done. Rock on. <laughs> All right, so that is how you work the top of your scarf, you know, one of your ends. Now, like I said before, what you can quite conceivably do is you can make this scarf in two pieces, each piece half the length that you want your scarf, and then you can sew this edge, excuse me, this edge, you know, to your second piece edge. And so this will be, the seam will be at your neck. Um, you know, again, it's totally up to you. Um, I always love to give you guys options for designing and for personalizing and making it your own, but I do love this scarf. You know, I love the width, I love the laciness, and I just, I'm nuts about pineapples. <laughs> All right. So listen, my dears, I really hope that you enjoyed this trilogy of a tutorial um, because it was a lot of fun doing for you guys. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, etc., please, you know, ask me in the comments section down below. And if you like this video, please hit the like button because your support means the world to me. It lets me know I'm doing a good job, um, you know, or if you have any constructive criticism mind you, constructive, <laughs> um, you know, please let me know. Um, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so because I try to make videos as often as I can because this is what I'm passionate about and I love you guys. So until next time, I want you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, and above all, stay stitching. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.